In previous class, I told you that there are some factors which affects the value of g, small g, acceleration due to gravity. The first factor, I told you, radius of the earth affects g. And second, height from the surface of the earth affects g. And depth from the surface of the earth as we go down into the earth, that also affects g. And rotation of the earth also affects g. And then I was highlighting the relation of G and radius of the Earth. And what kind of relation is there between acceleration due to gravity and radius of the Earth? I proved something in last class. And it was, it was what? Acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the Earth, mathematically this. I proved this. this. This was the method of proving g is inversely proportional to r square. The conclusion was if radius of the earth at a place is more than g will be less and if radius at a place is less then g will be more. And this way we are again continuing the relation between g and radius of the earth. And we are going to continue the same G and R, what kind of re, uh, relation they have. When we finish this, then we'll go to second, third and fourth point. Now let's continue with the same, I mean to say, the question which is related with the relation of G and radius of the earth. The, here we have some questions. Number one, a body falls faster at pole than the equator y. This question is related with the with the acceleration due to gravity and radius of the earth. All of we know that earth, earth is flattened at pole and balls at equator that's why polar radius is less. This is pole north pole and this is south pole and this is the radius at north pole and it is less than this equatorial radius, this is equator. Now, because of this region, Earth is flattened at pole, buzz at the equator, so polar radius is less and equatorial radius is more. Since G is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the Earth, so value of G will be more at this place. G is more at this place. And we know this value, 9.83, I mentioned in previous class also, meter per second square. And it is less at this place because radius is more. And G is less at equator. It is, the value also we know, it is 9.78 meter per second square. Look at this value. Because of more acceleration, a body falls faster at pole but because of less acceleration due to gravity the same body falls slower at equator this is the answer of the first question a body falls faster at pole than the equator why we can say very uh, straight earth is flattened at the pole boss at the equator polar radius is less equatorial radius is more since polar radius is less g is more at the pole and G is less at the equator because radius is more because G is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth. Since G is more at pole, a body falls faster at pole. Now let's talk about second question. G varies from place to place of the earth. Why? G is more at this place, less at this place. But if we go to this place, the value of G is a little less than the pole, maybe 9.82. At this place, it is a little less, maybe 9.81, maybe a 9.805. At this place, 9.7. This way, here, here, every place, acceleration due to gravity, it means G, value of G varies from place to place of the earth. Why? Question is why? Now we can answer this way. Earth is flattened at pole, buzz at equator. So its radius is different in different places of the earth. 
and as we know z is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the earth so if radius is less then z will be more at that at that place and if radius is more z will be less at that place this way the value of z varies from place to place of the earth this is the answer of second question now another question look at this g is less at the top of the mountain than the bottom why we can uh, we can understand this by this way also let's say this is a mountain on the earth surface uh, i made this a little more uh, the height is a little more but to understand very clearly only we are talking like this otherwise this much big mountain is not possible it's a little more than that than that of this place okay whatever it is but let's say this is mountain polar radius is less in the same way the radius of the earth at the bottom of the mountain is less but the radius of the earth at the top of the mountain will be more radius of earth at the top of the mountain is more but it is less at the bottom of the mountain since g is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth and radius is more at the top so g will be less at the top of the mountain but radius is less at the bottom of the mountain that's why g will be comparatively more at the bottom of the mountain than that of the top this way we can answer this question this is a reason question why g is less at the top of the mountain because radius is more at the top of the mountain and why it is its value is more at the bottom because radius is less because because g is inversely proportional to square of the radius of 